How's it going, people? Or Welcome back. I decided I was just going to go ahead and read the second one, too. I mean, I got them at the same time, you know, folded in. <sighs> Are you born again? <laughs> I thought once was enough, actually. And you don't get breastfed the next time around. Although it's a lot less messy the second time, I understand. Anyway. And do you like daisies and monarch butterflies? Who doesn't, right? All right. Now, this one is just full of stuff, so it's going to take a little longer. and That's good. I didn't finish my libation. Uh, all right. Changed from an ugly caterpillar to a beautiful butterfly. Who says caterpillars are ugly? I think they're kind of cute. Some of them are downright pretty in their own way. Which, what's this problem you got with caterpillars? This transformation that takes place in nature is a good illustration of what happens when a person experiences the new birth, which is supernatural. So they explain something supernatural with something natural. <laughs> One thing that you can actually see and prove, and the other one, it, it's an imaginary thing. You feel it. You've got a change of thinking, maybe. New birth is needed. In God's eyes, our natural state is unattractive, too. Since we are born in sin, and formed in inequity. Our parents were, uh, you know, that's a bad thing, I guess. And Psalm 51.5 is where they draw that conclusion, and probably some other places. As we grow, we continue to live after the desires of the flesh and mind, Ephesians 2, 3. This is opposed to God's purpose in creating us and shows our need to be made new creatures in Jesus Christ. He just waited until 2,000 years ago to do this, but we've been around for, well, something like 50,000 years, I think it is. Well, you know, some ideas take a while to catch on, I guess. He just hadn't thought of it yet, I guess. All right. Um, only the new birth can give us new desires and a new life. Yeah, you're not going to want to be doing any of that if you're born again, will you? You're going to be just so much better. If you did it right. What if you didn't, though, huh? Then, um, then you're not really doing anything. <sighs> the caterpillar does not become a butterfly by education. No, it does by nature. <sighs> Religion or self-effort... Likewise, it is only by the miraculous metamorphosis of new birth that your life and mine can be made beautiful to God. Because apparently he thinks caterpillars are ugly too. I don't. I like caterpillars. New birth is from God. Or at least your imaginary friend. John 1, 12 and 13 state the facts of this new birth. But as many as received him, to them gave him power to become the, and in brackets, children, in bracket, of God. 
think that was Sons of God, if I remember right. I think they said it over here in this one. They're using the same verses over and over again, aren't they? <sighs> well, you know, I mean, children of God. I mean, these guys are children of gods, you know? Hercules and Thor. They don't really get along most of the time. <sighs> They're in a book. People had faith in them once. Uh, matter of fact, Thor really held out against Jesus for quite a while. <laughs> it was like the last of the pagan gods. and Jesus was nailed to a cross. Uh, Thor had a hammer. Why don't they have a Jesus Pest dispenser? Don't you think that's unfair? We should write to the company. They got a son of God with has candy coming out of his neck. Why can't Jesus? It's like bigotry somehow. All right. Um, even to them that believe on his name, which were born not of blood or placental ickiness, um, nor of the will of the flesh, nor the will of man, but of God. So you're not going to be a natural person anymore. You don't even have to take a dump anymore. You just won't. I mean, that's all icky natural stuff. You become, you're born again. You probably don't need to do all that stuff. Unless you did it wrong. And then, <laughs> you're not really doing anything. <sighs> this is all quite edifying. All right. Only those born of a certain man have the right to be recognized as the children of that man. So only those who are born of God have the right to be recognized as the children of God. Okay. Thus, is, thus it is that those who receive Christ as Savior and Lord, become children of God. Did you follow that reason? It kind of did a little loop-to-loop -loop there, didn't it? Um, to receive Christ is to have true repentance to God and faith in the Lord Jesus Christ. <coughs> and probably some other things, but we're just talking Paul right now. I mean, Jesus had more things involved, like, you know, Abandoning your family, uh, giving your wealth to the poor, loving your enemies, turning the other cheek, treating the least of ever, you know, the lowest of low, as if they're Jesus himself. But we're just talking about Paul, which said, it's not about deeds. It's about willful dismissal of disbelief. The willful suspension of disbelief. Or, in other words, faith. Okay. How are we born again? That's the million-dollar question, isn't it? Counterfeit question. Uh, John 3, 5 tells how we receive the new birth. Water and the Spirit. There it is. What the water signifies is plainly told in Ephesians. 526. You just got to know how to jump all around uh, this book. See, if you're reading it straight through, you're just doing it wrong. You got to jump all around, you know. Okay. The water is the Word of God. See, you just got to know how to interpret things, too. When they say water, they really mean the Word of God. Because that's what it sometimes means, I guess. You know, like the that loose woman, that loose uh, Samaritan woman at the well, you know. Of course, he also told another one that she was a dog and she'd only get her daughter healed because she groveled nicely and talked about dogs eating the scraps at the master's table and stuff, so. Yeah, but I mean, it's all about this 
water that makes you not thirsty anymore. Metaphorically speaking, you're still going to get thirsty, though. <sighs> the gospel of Christ preached to sinners like you and me, definitely me, which by the sovereign power of the Holy Spirit produces the new birth. See also 1 Peter 1 23 and James 1 18. Are we born again? Hmm? John 20 31 gives us the time of the new birth. <coughs> and that believing ye might have life through his name. Didn't start on a capitalized word, so I think we're starting in the middle of a verse here. <sighs> this is immediately upon believing that we have received life eternal. Believing we've received it. Yeah. He that believeth on the Son hath everlasting life. And that's John 3.36. All this evidence, man. You must be born again. Nothing that we can do will enable us to see or enter the kingdom of God. Sounds like the emperor's clothing. You know, the emperor's new clothes or some other Aesop's fable. Uh, for this, the Lord Jesus says, ye must be born again. And that's John 3, 7. Without the new birth, we have no life towards God. We receive, wait, uh, by being born again through faith in the Lord Jesus, we receive everlasting life. So, I mean, we're doing this for love, not for ulterior motives or personal interest, you know, like fear of this place or love of butterflies and daisies. <laughs> you just got to have faith in the Son of God. Make sure it's the right one, though. <sighs> Without the new birth, we are condemned already. And that's John 3.18. By being born again, we are freed from judgment. And that's John 5, 24. So whatever you did that was wrong in life, it's just been blotted out. And you don't have to, like, pay restitution or do something nice or anything really nice. You just suck up to the sky daddy. Say you're sorry for all that bad shit you did. It's like it never happened now, whiter than snow. If you are to be eternally saved, it is absolutely necessary for you, dear reader, to be born again. Much repetition there. Repent ye therefore, and be converted, that your sins may be blotted out. They just keep using the same verses, don't they? And that's from Acts 3.19. Believe on the Lord Jesus Christ, and thou shalt be saved. And that's Acts 16.31. And both of these are uh, from uh, moments with the book, uh, the Lighthouse Ministries. And I'll put all that information wherever it goes these days. I don't want to point because YouTube is probably going to change the format and make me look silly. So, sillier. Anyhow, boy, should I do another one? Uh, just, hey, let me know. Did this help out in any way? Did it make things make more sense? Have you been born again, are you? Let me know. Peace the fuck out. Have a wonderful, whatever the fuck it is you're having. Because I want you to.